Unit 2, Using Objects. Topic 2.2, Creating and Storing Objects, Instantiation. Existing classes and class libraries can be utilized as appropriate to create objects. Java libraries contain pre-existing code that can be used in your programs. You should check them out. Parameters allow values to be passed to the constructor to establish the initial state of the object. When defining the attributes of a class, Notice how we declare instance variables without initializing them. Those variables are initialized or assigned values through the constructor method. This makes our program more flexible as each created object can have its own unique set of values. The keyword null is a special value used to indicate that a reference is not associated with any object. The memory associated with a variable of a reference type holds an object reference value or, if there is no object, null. This value is the memory address of the referenced object. When declaring the following variable of primitive type integer, we are telling our machine to allocate space and memory to store an integer value. At this time, the variable x has not been initialized with an actual value. When we instantiate the object d1, we are creating a reference to where the actual object data is located. D1 points to where the values of name, HP, and is alive, which are stored in primitive variable types, exist in memory. When we write dog D2, the object variable D2 is not pointing to any object data. When an object reference is not pointing to any object data, it is considered to be null. Null object references do not allocate any memory. A little Twitter humor.